वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन रिलेशन स्टडीज फॉर एडवांसमेंट इन फूड प्रोडक्शन हेयर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू रिगार्डिंग द मेथड्स ऑफ एनिमल ब्रीडिंग देर आर वेरियस मेथड्स ऑफ एनिमल ब्रीडिंग एज फार एज द इम्प्रूवमेंट ऑफ एनिमल्स आर कंसर्न एंड एनिमल इम्प्रूवमेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन ऑर्डर टू गेट बेटर क्वालिटी एंड क्वान्टिटी ऑफ मिल्क in order to get better quantity and quality of meat in order to get greater or higher quality of wool etc these are the economic aspects of animal breeding <clears throat> so first one is inbreeding and this inbreeding is done between animal of the same breed for 4 to 6 generations it is called inbreeding for this inbreeding purpose superior female and superior bulls of the same breed are identified and mated resulting into superior female and male are identified for further mating and inbreeding as a rule increases homozygosity inbreeding exposes harmful recessive genes that are eliminated by selection it also help in accumulation of superior genes and elimination of less desirable genes but continued breeding reduces fertility and even productivity this is called inbreeding depression i think uh, this inbreeding depression has uh, earlier been discussed also the another method is outbreeding outbreeding is the breeding of breeding or mating of animal within the same breed but having no common ancestor on either side of their pedigree up to 4 to 6 generations outcrossing is the best breeding method for animal that are below average productivity in milk production growth rate and meat production sometimes only one outcross help to overcome the inbreeding depression the next one is cross breeding in cross breeding superior males of one breed are mated with superior female of another breed it gives better breed Hesardale is a new breed of sheep developed in Punjab by crossing Bikaneri ewes and Merino ram. Inter-specific hybridization. Inter-specific hybridization is the approach where male and female animals of two different species are mated. The progeny obtained from such mating are usually different from both the parent species but in some cases the progeny may combine desirable characters of both the parents mule is produced from cross between female horse and a male donkey mules are harder than their parents and are well suited for hard work in mountain regions the another method is artificial insemination in artificial insemination the selected bull of better traits are selected and the semen is collected which is immediately used by injecting the semen into the vaginal tract of the selected female or sometimes the semen collected is kept in liquid nitrogen for preservation for the later use it is called the frozen semen the another method is multiple multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology this technology uses the fsh hormone this fsh hormone stimulates the follicular maturation and a super ovulation this results in 
the production of 6 to 8 eggs per cycle. The cow is either mated with a bull, best quality bull, by artificial insemination and these all 6 to 8 eggs get fertilized. Once the embryo is formed and is 8 to 32 cell days stays, it is recovered and transferred to surrogate mothers. Surrogate mothers are those cows or buffaloes that provide its uterus for the development of these embryos. The genetic mother is available now for another super ovulation. This technology is known as multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology. The high giving milk, high milk giving breeds of female and high quality meat giving bulls have been bred successfully to obtain better breed in short time. That's all in this video. We shall discuss the remaining part in the next video. Thank you.